Wembley of the North. That's how Sir Jim Ratcliffe, the new partial owner of Manchester United, described his vision for Old Trafford. But it's far from it at the moment. We've seen the place crumbling around our ears over the last couple of decades, really, since the Glazers took over. The Old Trafford toilets are literally flooded with piss. Look at Old Trafford. Look at the state the Glazers have allowed Old Trafford to get into. Sir Jim is looking at the possibility of building a new stadium that will be viewed as the Wembley of the North. There are plenty of options available for Manchester United, but no decisions have been made regarding the future of this iconic stadium. So let's explore what options they do have. So option one is to build a completely new stadium. Ratcliffe is against relocating Manchester United for obvious reasons, but he's up for a stadium move if it's still on the land that United own, and United own a lot of land. They own around 100 acres surrounding Old Trafford itself, and 43 acres of that is land ripe for redevelopment, and around 23 acres of that is actually unused completely. So that means there's a lot of room here for United to crack on with a building, a brand new swanky stadium. And this means as well that it wouldn't disrupt match day revenue as, you know, they'd literally just be building right behind and Old Trafford as it is now can just continue going as normal. This is similar to what Tottenham did with their stadium. Also, this option would allow you to keep Old Trafford such an historical Manchester landmark. You get to keep it and maybe even repurpose it for, I don't know, a venue space for gigs or even like an academy team or a women's team stadium all on one complex as well. A little bit like Manchester City, their rivals are doing, which obviously is probably going to anger United fans. All this sounds great, doesn't it? It does sound pretty good, but there's one small problem. It's money. It's always money. Two billion pounds this would cost if they were to do this redevelopment, which is a lot of those. So there's a, a complication there. So this brings me to option two. If Manchester United are worried about price, you've, of course, you could repurpose Old Trafford as it is now. This option takes inspiration from Barcelona, Real Madrid, and even Liverpool, who have all been renovating their current stadiums opposed to building new ones elsewhere. Options like this are, are important to big clubs like Manchester United because there's a lot of history that is made on that pitch and to not play there anymore it's, it is sad to see. So this could, you know, takes into factor that as well. Former player and pundit Gary Neville has advocated for improving Old Trafford's facilities, suggesting a phased approach with a world-class upgrade to stands over time would be the best approach. And of course, this would be the cheaper option. This would be costing around 800 million opposed to that massive two billion figure so those are the options presented to manchester united but i know this is dividing fans a little bit and i'm not a manchester united fan so i thought it'd be good to to see what the fans are thinking so i asked a couple friends all right well buzzing thank you mate for coming on i really do appreciate you joining me um just a quick one i wanted to get like the fans kind of reaction to Sir Jim Ratcliffe and what he's been saying about the stadiums. You know what it is for me here? I, I look at Old Trafford, just for the context here, the roof's leaking, the toilets aren't great, the facilities around Old Trafford aren't great. You know, you know where I sit, I can see the whole stadium, I can see the rust, I can see the leaks. You were getting leaked on when you came to Old Trafford <laughs> with me that time. Do you know okay. what I mean? So you've seen it firsthand, how how bad the stadium has been allowed, allowed to get. For me... Being what such an old ground built in like 1910, in order to kind of refurbish Old Trafford to a standard that would meet the likes of Tottenham, uh, would meet the likes of like Man City, our rivals, and so on. I don't think it could be done. I think even though it probably costs more to build a whole new stadium initially, I think long term financially the best option would be to build a new stadium. I'm more on board with the new stadium and making it the best that there is in the world, which it would have to be. And I would think Sir Jim Radcliffe and Ineos would go down that road of making sure it was the best in every single way. And I think we should be excited for that. It does, for me, need a new stadium. I can't lie. As much as I want to keep that novelty and I want to keep that kind of, you know, Old Trafford's my home and I've been there for the last 20 years and da 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 like, you know what? It does need a new stadium. Like When I look at Tottenham Stadium, I'm like, Wow, amazing. You know, when I look at people's building new stadiums, I'm like, you know what? We're going to be here supporting United anyway. It'll take probably about two, three years to make if it, if it obviously, you know, gets planned or whatnot. I think that'll be better than redeveloping something that 
probably is redeveloping everywhere. It, so Jim says Wembley are the north. I don't know how you felt, mate, but when they knocked down the original Wembley and didn't keep the Twin Towers, I was distraught. How did you mm. feel about that? I, I'm I'm not old enough, mate, to remember the, the old Wembley. Oh, it's the beard, mate. You mean... <laughs> yeah, no, I look old. I look like I should remember those days, but I don't, to be fair. I only really have memories of this new one, but I know I've been to the new one. It doesn't feel amazing when you're there. Well, I look my age and I am old. And for me, <laughs> if they are to knock down Old Trafford, I want them to at least keep something, yeah. um, you know, to reminisce about and something iconic. The history and the nostalgia side of things, the memories and things like that. For me, that's what they are. They are memories and they're never going to go. And I understand everyone's angle on that. And it wouldn't be, it wouldn't, it wouldn't seem right to knock Old Trafford down. I think that's the biggest thing that a lot of United fans have got a problem with, actually seeing it turn to rubble. Mm. I think what the, the best outcome would be and where I think a new stadium works for us is the infrastructure around the new stadium. We could literally redesign Old Trafford into being the under-21s and the women's team stadium, not completely tear it down. We could build it into a campus area. Have it as a, a campus. like, and It's horrible for United fans to say you have to follow City's model or whatever that, but what they've done around East Manchester, and I'm, I'm from East Manchester, so I know Beswick really well. Friend... Grew up down there, friends around there. Um, it was a shit all. It was an absolute shit all. You drive through as quick as quick as you could. Do you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> yeah. you didn't want to hang around there, and it, elements of that are still true today. But you look at what is around there now, the campus they've built, what it looks like. That's what we need, and we need something similar to that, if not better. I, what I want to see, I want to see concerts. I want to see NFL. I want to see everything there. I want to see it hold. Uh, every type of event, multi-event venue, boxing. Or it could be used to make a, a what Man City done. They built, build a co-op arena. You could build an arena if you want to get more match day revenue from that. So there's so much other news you could do. And also, I don't know if you see the car parks, but they're too big for a, for a car park to be there. Like I've seen other car parks here. I'm like, bro, like how much land are you wasting? Like generally, <laughs> yeah. there's mm -hmm. so much car park space. I'm like, for, for, what's going on? Old Trafford is very much a visual representation of of their ownership. It's been allowed to fester uh, and decay, and and become. You know, we're past it. All clubs have overtaken us, and you know, I'm not too sure about Chelsea, but I think of the big clubs in the Premier League, we're the only club not to have touched our stadium or moved to a new stadium within 20 years. Mate, yeah, they're 100, percent and. Look, if you don't act like a big club soon enough, you won't be a big club, and that's not what United need. But um, thanks, mate. I appreciate you jumping on. Really do. So that's it. That's what the fans think. These are the two options for Sir Jim Ratcliffe. What do you think in the comments below? If you're a United fan, let me know what you think. What would you rather United do to their iconic Old Trafford? But that's it for this video. If you did enjoy it, please do give us a like and a subscribe. I'd massively appreciate it. I do actually have a video very similar to this about Stamford Bridge, Chelsea Stadium and their problems with redevelopment. So if you enjoyed this, you might enjoy that one. Go check it out. But that's it. I appreciate the love. Thank you very much. I'll see you next week.